Apache the Straw Man is among the many new features of The Sims 4 Seasons expansion pack. While he doesn't do an awful lot on his own, he can still be a useful addition to some households, in particular when you can make use of him to keep a large amount of plants alive. He may also make a very reliable friend to a hermit sim and can be used for many more activities though he's unlikely to mind given he is a scarecrow who must be desperate to leave the tree. Despite his obvious weaknesses, he can be surprisingly picky as my video evidence will show. You can find your own Patchy in Build Mode's Outdoor tab under Outdoor Activities. He's around 450 simoleons. At first he'll do absolutely nothing, although if you socialize with him enough times, you'll eventually unlock a few abilities. Just keep at it, I don't think mood or charisma matters at this stage, he's just that desperate for a chat. Continue to socialize with Patchy and you'll eventually be notified that you've unlocked a Scarecrow outfit. This means that you've unlocked all of the Patchy abilities. I found it didn't seem to matter much whether I was nice to Patchy or not as long as I was talking to him, though you may find it better to be kind. You can find the Scarecrow outfit when you go to a dresser and plan outfits. As you can see, you'll look just like Patchy. You don't only get to look like Patchy, you also get to learn from him. You gain the ability to ask Patchy for gardening tips, which gives you a large chunk of XP. It's at least equivalent to a few hours worth of reading skill books. Secondly, you can search Patchy's pockets for seeds. This will give you a variety of uncommon seeds when it's working. While this ability worked for me just a month ago, my frustration with The Sims 4 grew when I discovered that it was broken 100% of the time for me now. Thankfully, it's not necessary to enjoy Patchy, it's just frustrating. I don't know if it's all days or most days, but around noon, Patchy will come off his stump and visit your lot. If there's gardening work to be done, he'll actually take care of things before indulging himself in the entertainment your lot can provide. He sticks around about 5 hours during which time your sim can have interaction and build a relationship with him. He's a guest that is always allowed to enter, but I discovered that you can use the game's door lock system to lock Patchy out if you're willing to bar everyone who isn't a household member. This may be inconvenient, so I came up with a better idea. Let's enclose Patchy in a fence. Place walls around your garden and convert them to fences. Then place a gate and lock it to everyone except your household or your gardener. Patchy will be locked in, spawn and do some work each day, stare at the plants, then return in the evening. It's cruel, but definitely effective. Regina on YouTube asked me to do something similar to my Father Winter video with Patchy, but you can't quite go that far. You can make Patchy your boyfriend, but cannot try for baby with him. You're much less time limited with him, but despite his condition, you can see he can be just as picky as any other sim. My video guide to Woohoo could help with this some, uh, since the process is basically the same. Patty Patchy Chaser here continually tried hooking up with Patchy, but kept getting shot down. It started to get frustrating and honestly really sad to see. Here she leans in for the first kiss, finally after making some headway and what the heck, Patchy? Have you even seen my girl? How could you not? Stupid Jeffrey Landgrab showed up to spectate right at the worst moment when Patty's humiliated. She tells him to leave and Patchy runs away to his stump. Rejection can be a tough thing to bear, but you've got to get back in the saddle. Work on your charisma some and come back at it from another angle, after hiding from the world and a good pep talk, of course. With high needs and a steamy shower to boost her flirtiness along with some charisma gains, Patty was ready to rock this issue again and try to woohoo Patchy the next day. He'll be an excellent source of fun for her without worries of commitment. After previous gains, the first kiss comes rather swiftly and soon after they're off to do it in a bush because Patchy's locked out of her house for my testing. Sorry, Patchy. He doesn't seem to mind this at all though, woohooing Patchy has to already be an itchy activity which is a major turnoff, but the bush should make that unbearably so. I mean, let's be honest people, Sims pee there. Actually, you know what, they do 
this there too. Sims are disgusting. Pachi is an uh, interesting utility character, no matter what you choose to have him around to use him for. As far as asking Patchy to move in, it's not possible in an unmodded game, though you can cheat him into the household. Similarly, you cannot have a baby with Patchy, though I feel this is a missed opportunity because cute little baby pumpkin heads would even get me excited. Uh, I guess that's about all I have to say about Patchy. Hopefully, uh, the check for siege option works for you the first time you try it. He's far from useless otherwise, certainly better than a sprinkler, although not necessarily as reliable. Sometimes he gets stuck standing around researching plants. If you enjoyed my content, please subscribe. Maybe at least like the video and let me know in the comments. We're about to cross a thousand subscribers and that's an exciting milestone for any new channel. Thanks a lot for watching and for all the feedback and advice you've given me.